Hey guys, so I'm making videos in my car because I have like no time this week. It's been really crazy so far in the week after OCR World Championships. Can't believe it's already been uh, four days, but um, we were there and we were uh, talking with Jeff Kane from On My Way to Sparta about uh, the humanitarian award uh, that was awarded uh, to a very worthy cause. Uh, Jesse Bruce actually won it. And we sat down with Jesse Bruce as well to talk about it. And Jeff kind of told us about the selection process and uh, what these people are kind of doing that were nominated um, to be considered for the humanitarian award and how people in OCR are not just giving back to their fellow races, but they're giving back to the community as a whole. So we also sat down with Rose Dye, and uh, we grabbed some really great interviews with people who, even though Jesse was the winner, uh, all the nominees, in our opinion, are true Rose CR heroes. So check it out. I'm here with Jesse Bruce, and you are the recipient of this year's Humanitarian Award. So why don't you tell everyone at home what you received this award for? I received it for uh, a few things. I work with uh, sheltered youth in uh, Toronto, so uh, they come to my gym. I train them year round. We go to travel to obstacle course and they compete in the obstacle course at my gym. And then uh, this year we fundraise and uh, uh, send 50 of them to Spartan Race. Um, yeah, we do a lot for them. We took them up for Christmas, got them all Christmas presents. Um, I do a lot of speaking and stuff in uh, school. And all that, uh, you know, dangers of drugs and alcohol and uh, struggling with mental issues. Uh, I've, I've gone through a long dark road myself. So doing and uh, overcome. So doing something with it now, just to uh, give back. So I guess that's pretty much. Uh, that's that's great to hear. So it sounds like there's a kind of a story. Because one of the questions I want to know is what kind of got you into this uh, ever? What, what kind of got you uh, uh, mentoring and fostering like your youth? Uh, you know what? I'm uh, four years clean and sober myself. I struggled a lot. Um, you know, I, I really lived a long, dark life. And uh, for me, I look at these kids. And, uh, you know, I, I had a better shot than them. I come from a pretty decent family, and I worked my way into the gutter. And, you know, some of these kids start off, and they're, they're amazing kids, and they don't have, you know, parents. They don't have nothing. So I think if you just, if people just come and learn these kids' names and let them know that you care about them, and not just it's more than training them for an hour a week, it's, you know, learning their names and, uh, and uh, letting them know that, that you care about them and, then, uh, and giving them hope, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah. having them come and do amazing stuff like this and then they feel it's great for them. They, they're stronger people because of it. Great. So you could have chosen anything to help mentor these kids. Why OCR? I uh, just... For me, I, you know, these obstacles, everybody has their obstacles. These obstacles represent more than what they are and represent real life obstacles. I think the community is amazing. Uh, I believe that when you finish something very challenging that you train for and you work for, that you are that you're a stronger person because of it by the time you get to the end of it. And, uh, you know, the community, the people you meet in this, there's no better place for uh, kids struggling to come. These guys come and work out and do the normal class at my gym and they fit right in with, uh, with everybody. So bridging that gap between you know sheltered youth and uh, your average everyday person, right? Excellent, absolutely. So where can everyone at home like find out more about what you're doing? Do you have like a website or something like that? Yeah, so I'm the co-founder of Alpha Optical Training, so you can reach out to me there, look up our Facebook page, look up our Jesse Bruce. Um, Look out, we're actually just in now uh, in works with creating funding because we want to spread this across uh, Canada for now and then, you know, of course, the whole world. And, uh, so basically, yeah, you can look out for me and then if you got a gym or uh, multiple courses around your place and want to get in on it, uh, let's do it. Excellent. That's a great story. I uh, love that we can uh, give, give some coverage to you for on uh, Brociar. If there's anything that Brociar can do for you in the future, please let us know. This is Jesse Bruce. Awesome story. Good job, man. Thanks Appreciate a lot. you. Thank you. So we're here with Rose Dye, and Rose was one of the finalists for the Humanitarian Award that was awarded this week at the OCRWC. So Rose, why don't you tell everyone uh, how you got involved with the Humanitarian Award? Actually, I was nominated by a client of mine, very unexpectedly. Um, OCR is, is part of my life, it's, it's what I do, but it goes beyond the obstacles on the course. I translate it to every obstacle that's out here that's difficult to get over physically. 
kind of corresponds to something that someone's struggling with on a different level. And it's those people that I really try to reach to and I really try to help get through. Um, I work with breast cancer survivors, so I train their actually a uh, Dragon Ball team and I train them in their off season. So I do a lot of work with them and they're just an amazing group of women fighters. Um, I work with obese clients. Um, we, my goal is to get them past some of their hurdles, which are a lot mental, a lot of mental hurdles in that, and then to get them out on the course and you know to see to see a smile on a face to conquer something that they never even dreamed possible is just more rewarding than anything. And any medal that I personally receive in, in a race is just it's just great. And you know, to be able to help people like that, I think that's what OCR is about. That's really the spirit of it. It's not about winning, although winning is nice. But when you're helping someone else, either out on the course or in life, there's a bigger reward than, than anything. Excellent. So uh, one of the questions that we wanted to ask is that, so there's obviously something that happened to you that made you want to kind of do this. So what 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 kind of got Another you team inspired to, to go this route to back to the OCR World Championship um, team competition? I think when our house came down in 2006, the outpouring of support from friends and neighbors and just seeing what community is really about and you know, having a period of homelessness and you know, losing everything that you had and realize the value in life is not about the stuff that you have, but the people that are in your life. And I think from that, it was a humbling experience and our whole entire family grew from that. And I think from that I just wanted to, I wanted to give back. And the athlete side of it was just always a part of, part of just having to be an avenue that I could you know, utilize. And so did this happen when your house burned down? Were you already in OCR or did this happen after? Um, actually that was prior to OCR. My first OCR race was in 2011. Um, I was into fitness and you know doing things like that, but a friend of mine invited me to a Tough Mudder. That was my first OCR run, <laughs> um, and just what I experienced on the course of people helping people, I was like, this is it. This is what life is about, and I love the athletic nature of it, but the helping each other, like this is it. This is the event. Like I, it was per it was a perfect fit. Perfect. And then since then, I'm, I'm a Spartan coach. Um, I have my own OCR facility, so it's uh, it's great. I love it. So obviously, there's like the health and fitness community, and then there's the OCR community. And one of the things that we've noticed is that the health and wellness community is fantastic, but it seems like the OCR community is way more just like more cohesive, more like helping everyone else, regardless of how athletic or elite they are or where they come from. I think it's, it, OCR takes fitness to another level. I think the fitness community is great, but then OCR is like a level above. It takes not just fitness and what your body can do, but it's what your life can do. Like what is your purpose and overall um, talent that you can give back. And it's about giving back. It's not just about me in the mirror, it's about me in the community. And so that's what we've noticed is that whenever we're doing OCR, it's an entirely different community. So if you're at home, and you want to know what this community is about. We have good-natured individuals like this throughout the sport. It's not just like you'll have the shooting stars occasionally. We are saturated with these type, these type of people who just want to give back and want to help other people. So we highly recommend that you should get involved in OCR in whatever capacity, and you'll see it for yourself. And you get to meet wonderful individuals like Rose. And Rose, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here with Jeff Kane, and Jeff, you were in charge of, of actually awarding the Humanitarian Award this year. So why don't you tell everyone at home, like, well, the concept of how you came up with the Humanitarian Award and kind of how it was a, and the purpose of it. Okay. So, yes, I'm a president of For Those Who Would. Um, this is a new charity grounded in the obstacle racing community. Um, our roots are here, the board members are here, and we're all about kind of positivity. So our mission is to kind of help those individuals who because of illness or disease are unable to kind of do the things that we take for granted. Um, but we also kind of want to bring this positivity to the sport. And we notice that, you know, elite athletes get recognized, race directors get recognized, 
media gets recognized, but you know, we had these core group of people who are doing just some amazing things um, that nobody really knows about too much. So, um, you know, we brought this award out. Uh, we had an online nomination process through Mud Run Guide. So Mud Run Guide and OCR World Champions have partnered with us on this award. Mm -hmm. We want to be the entire uh, OCR community international. Uh, so we took online nominations. There was a selection committee composed of representatives from OCR World Championship, for those who would, and Mud Run Guide. We chose four finalists. And uh, originally we were going to choose the winner, but then the, uh, someone had the idea of like, we need to share these stories with everyone. So let's take our finalists, put them out on the web, let everyone see the stories, spread this a little bit more, give the OCR community a vote. Uh, that vote only counted 20%, a significant amount, but 20% because we didn't want this to be a, a, a social media popularity yeah. contest. Uh, so after that vote was done, the selection committee took all that in consideration and uh, chose our winner who was Jesse Bruce this year. But those finalists, all four of the finalists, any of them could have won. Uh, and I know I wasn't on the selection committee, but I know they had a difficult time like choosing one person. But we wanted to, to make it one person, to really make it a very, very meaningful award. Uh, we're going to be doing this next year, every year. And we expect next year that nomination to be even harder to pick from. So when can we actually expect the uh, nomination process to start? We'll start a lot sooner this year. Uh, you know, our charity just launched in August, and we kind of fast-forwarded that launch to get the, uh, the humanitarian award out. So I would think uh, probably soon after the beginning of the year, we'll start the nomination process. Uh, so we'll have more time to get that in. Um, and hopefully we'll have some more great people. And I, and I know we are. The OCR community is you know, the best in the world. And we want to bring that positivity and share those stories that people just don't hear about, the great things that we're doing off the course, not on the course, it's off the course. And that's kind of why we started doing Bro CR Heroes, because you know, we love to cover the elite athletes, we love to cover the races, but there's so much more that's going on behind the scenes, at the races, and even behind the races itself that we wanted to kind of help expose uh, how much goodness is just going on in OCR. And I uh, highly recommend that you check out for those who would and uh, get updates from them. And uh, we appreciate the time to have with us, Jeff. Thank you, Thank you for all that you do. Absolutely, anytime. Appreciate it.